How are we doing YouTube? Katie Hill Farmer coming back with a hot dog sauce recipe. I know it's a little bit different for the channel, but uh, this is supposedly one of the well-kept secrets where I'm from. Uh, the gentleman's name is called Yan Hot Dogs, but they're known. And what we're doing today is I think I may have found a copycat recipe. So, what we're doing now is the recipe calls for lard. So, what we're doing is we're just kind of cooking down this lard right now and getting all the other ingredients together. And uh, if it turns out good, I make sure the recipe. But uh, right now, we're just in the trial stages and we're getting the lard melted down. But I'm getting all the other ingredients the onions chopped up all that good stuff so stay with us here we'll see what happens like i said never tried it before we got most of the ingredients ready so stick around let's see what happens okay guys we got the burger the onion a few other things uh we're gonna just mix it all together here until this meat gets brown like I said, this ain't the best kitchen set up for recording by any means. So you kind of just hang with me. And as you can see, I always wear rubber gloves when I cook. So let's get, this will probably take a while. There's over four pounds of meat. So it will take a while to cook. And it says stir constantly so pretty much that's what you're going to see so i'll just kind of flip in and out with the camera but uh like i said uh this is one of the they say this is one of the i don't know if anybody's ever heard of them but it's called the Ann hot dogs or from Fairmont, west virginia and they everybody these hot dogs they're most of the time sold with chocolate milk because uh, of the hotness of them. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. You want to keep it. They are hot. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, but they are good. So I'm going to keep stirring this around here. And uh, we'll check back in here in a little bit. And like I said, this whole time probably takes a couple hours to do and then uh we'll get back but anyhow guys check out the instagram page facebook page and twitter at katie hill farmer and uh give it a like if you ain't already have or give it a follow you guys know how the social medias work so i just thought this would be a little bit different video and i've been wanting to try this recipe for a while so we'll see what happens all right, guys, stand by. We'll get back when it's all cooked down. Okay, guys, so far we got half the ingredients in this. Uh, it's still stirring. I don't know if the camera does any justice, but it smells like it. Uh, but so far, what we have going on is we got some paprika, we got some chili powder, we got some black pepper, uh, and crushed red pepper seed. There's four pounds of ground chuck. I have a city unit outside of city. and uh, some salt so we're letting this brown up which i gonna be honest with you right now it will be hard to tell if it does get browned up because of all the ingredients in it so uh but we're letting it cook here we'll probably let this go another oh 
it says to cook this for 15 20 minutes but i believe that's after you brown your meat and i brown my meat in with the ingredients so i don't know how long it would actually take the you know brown up this much meat i'd be half tempted to put a lid on it but uh you don't want to do that because uh then you may get some unnecessary water in there that you don't want to have so we'll just keep stirring this and uh like i said the onion paprika chili powder black pepper salt and red crushed pepper are in here and it says just keep stirring it so that's what we're doing and we will keep checking back so hopefully here in a little while we'll be able to uh give it a little taste test i'm trying to let it cook on bottom and stir it up a little bit is what i'm trying to do and pretty much what it says is add the uh, you add the rest of the ingredients to this after getting this mixed up and let it simmer on low heat for an hour and add a quart of water and you can add more water if you would like if you get if you want your sauce thinner so but I say what I'm going to end up doing if I can find my temperature thing, my temperature probe. Just probing this meat and seeing what the temperature of it is. And uh, going that way out, I should have browned it first and had made it a lot simpler. So you guys may want to do that. But then again, are you using the meat renderings, you know, for the sauce? I, I don't know. So, but, uh, all right guys we'll check back here in a little bit okay guys it has sit here i believe she's browned up gave her a little taste test i'd say we're <laughs> pretty damn close so now it calls for one quart of water i'm only going to pour half a quart in just to kind of help me Then you're going to let this simmer, it says, for about an hour. Stir occasionally. So, then we got to add the rest of the ingredients. So, I will add the rest of that water out of the called for a quart and says you can use more if need be. I will let this warm up a little bit then i will take it to a simmer uh let me get the rest of the ingredients ready and i'll well i can do it while i got you on here well no i can't because i ain't got them open but anyhow uh like i said i'm gonna let this still while i'm stirring i'll let this kind of come up to temperature like I said, you don't want to burn it, guys. That's the main thing. You do not want to burn it. So, and like I said, if you try this recipe, it is very hot. And, uh, or video gets enough attention, I will post the recipe and we will, uh, do another video and, uh, make it together or something like that. But, uh, let me see how it turns out here. And like I said, let me add the rest of the ingredients and we will go from there so all right we'll check back here uh as you can see it is 536 right now i'm gonna keep some high heat on this till about 540 i think and uh then we'll let her simmer for an hour all right guys we'll see you here in a little bit okay guys as you can see it is 542 we have it uh, down on the simmer point on the stove we're just stirring it every now and then and I will say that if it's not it it is damn close uh, for the simple fact uh, I mean it I think it the hour of simmering will incorporate all your flavors but let's see if i can pull this out of here 
I mean, it looks perfect. And if I remember, I will throw a picture of the hot dogs. But this is one of the best sauces you'll ever have. If you like hot, if you do not like hot, I would not recommend trying this sauce because it will light you up. Uh, but we're going to let it simmer here for another hour, and I'll be I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, if I can find the receipt here, I'll go ahead and show you the receipt. Of what all we purchased, and all it is is chili powder, paprika, crushed peppers, lard, ground chuck, onion, and that's it. So. Uh, and also I wanted to try this butter so I got some of this butter while I was there but uh, I always see that on uh, Al's channel so I've always wanted to try it but uh, the only thing I see I maybe done a little bit wrong is I, I probably should have maybe put my onions in a food processor but uh, I want to tell you what so far, so good. Uh, pretty delish. I've tried a little bit of it there, and it tastes it tastes pretty good. So, like I said, it is hot. So, if you don't like hot stuff, again, do not try this recipe because you will be wasting your time. If you like hot stuff, and when I say hot. It don't have a forever burn to it, but it does have a, it's not like eating a Carolina Reaper by no means, but you guys seen the, the ingredients list, so you can take it for what it's worth, but uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching, and I will post uh, some pictures on Instagram when this is done, I may even bring you guys back and just kind of show you uh, what it looked like after it got done cooking so i think i still got my heat just a little bit high but like i said this is a big batch so you're going to want to freeze it can it do whatever you want to do with it unless you have a big party coming and you want to have some real good hot dog sauce or hot dog jelly but this is supposedly i found this recipe on a facebook site and I will say, once it was posted on, like I said, the Yans Facebook site, it was removed pretty quickly. Actually, the guy that posted removed it. And this recipe goes out, I believe his name was like a Robert Thomas or something, but uh, he was the one that posted this recipe. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's the authentic, but other than going to Russell Yans itself... I say it's as close as you're going to get and I'll be honest with you to give you a little bit of backstory on these hot dogs they was he's had this hot dog stand there for probably 60 some years it's at the end of a little bridge and he makes a batch of sauce when he runs out of sauce he's done for the day now because he's a lot older and they actually call him the hot dog Nazi believe it or not uh but anyhow he will make the sauce and by noon no he's open no later than one o'clock i mean if you go after one o'clock you ain't getting a hot dog and uh we usually just buy them by the dozen of it anyhow guys i wanted to show you this one more time it's turning out really good so anyhow guys thanks for watching uh if you guys like this Maybe we'll do some more cooking videos. Uh, I enjoy cooking. So, uh, but anyhow, I will, I may bring you back for, like I said, another little after it's done. And I'll give you the true taste test. But, hey guys, thanks for watching. And, like I said, just look forward here to the end. There'll be a little taste test video. Alright, thanks. Bye. Okay guys, this is the finished product. You can see how thick it is. If you want to thin that down, all you'd have to do is add some water. But, pretty 
I, I'm wanting to let it sit here for a little while and taste test it, but spot on, very good. Like I said, if you do try this, make sure you like the hot, hot sauce. So, but anyhow, glad I could share with you. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.